Hello everyone and welcome to Boundless Dentistry. In this video, we'll talk about something very basic that all the students in their clinical year as well as the practicing doctors should know that is how do we write prescriptions when the patient visits to our clinic or hospital. There are some things, some very basic things that you have to know that how do you write a prescription starting from the different parts of prescription and also noting some very important errors that often students as well as doctors make when they are writing their prescriptions. So let's get started. Now the prescription pad which the dentist or any medical doctor have it looks something like this. You can see here there is patient's name, address, also doctor's name, address is also given in this so that patient can contact the doctor if there is any emergency or any query of the patient. So that's this part. Then this is the part where the medicines instruction is written by the doctor for the patient. And then this is the final part where the, de the doctor gives its signature, writes down the date and any other specific instruction that is to be noted here. Prescriptions are basically in two forms. We have the manual form and then we have the electronic form. Electronic form is the new method in which details are entered in the computer and the printed form which is the prescription is then given to the patient. Now talking in detail about the different parts of the prescription, firstly we have this part which you can see with black is the name and address and sometimes age of the patient. We write down the name of the patient, then the address, sometimes age can also be written. Also doctor's details are also mentioned in this first part. You can see prescriber's information, and also the address of the clinic or hospital and sometimes the DEA number or any other uh, number of the uh, doctor's license. The second part is the main body of the prescription. In this there is the details of the medicine. For example, is, this the, is the medicine a capsule, tablet or syrup? Then the name of the medicine. medicine. In most of the time the medicine's name should be in the generic form. That is the medical form. For example, amoxicillin. And sometimes brand names can also be used but the standard method is to write down the generic name of the medicine. Then we write down instructions for the patient such as how many times a day the patient has to take either before or after meal and the route of administration either uh, intramuscular, intravenous, orally and some other instructions to the patient as well. And this third part is there the doctor's initial is given. For First, the name of the doctor is printed in this uh, letter of the prescription. Then the doctor signs it and any other instruction that the doctor seems right for the patient is written down. Now before talking in detail about the different parts of the prescription, some common abbreviations are to be noted here before we move on. Rx simply means recipe which is treatment. B uh, when we start writing down the prescription Rx is written because after Rx the details of the medicine is written down. Hx means history, Dx means diagnosis and these are some of the commonly used that is QD. QD means uh, using every other day. Also BID is used which means using the medicine twice a day. TID means using the medicine three times a day and QID means using the medicine four times a day. And sometimes some medicines also require them to be taken once a day. So we write it down as OD. And then commonly used are this PC which means taking it after me and AC means taking before me. Now this is important because some medicines are to be taken on empty stomach so that their absorption is more effective. And sometimes after taking meal, the medicine is to be taken because with meals, their absorption is more rapid. So AC and PC are important terms. And the route of administration is sometimes the medicine is to be taken in the muscle, in the skin or in the uh, veins. And, some, and most of the times medicine are taken orally, which is PO by mouth. The first part of the prescription that was name and details of the patient and the doctor was pretty straightforward. So we'll move on to the second part of the prescription that is the main body of the prescription. In this first we write down Rx which, is the, which means recipe that is the treatment that is being written down for the patient. The first part is we mention either the medicine that you are prescribing is a syrup, tablet or a capsule. This is the first thing that you have to mention. Followed by the name of the drug and its strength. Name of the drug most commonly 
and the standard methods show that it has to be written in the generic form that is the medical name of the drug strength basically means how much mg or grams of the drug should be given to the patient then sig sig is basically instructions to the patient that is directions for the patient in this we write down frequency frequency basically means how many times the drug has to be taken by the patients per day you can either write in these two forms either we write down OD that is once a day or BID twice a day but sometimes these directions are a bit difficult for the patient to understand because they they are, they are not medical people so they tend to forget these terms what they mean so we can write it down as 1 plus 1 that means two times a day and we can write it down as BID or in this case this is TID which is three times a day then we write down the route of administration of the drug that is how the drug is to be taken by the patient also in this case we can write it down in two forms that is either the drug is taken orally by mouth or we can write it down as PO which also means orally but this is more medical form so normally it's preferred that it is to be written in this form for the understanding of the patient and then in SIG the last is meal instruction in meal instruction we basically write down either the drug is to be taken before meal or after meal and on significance of this we have talked and lastly we talked about this M M means for how many days the drug is to be taken because this is important so that the patient doesn't either there are compliance issues or the patient takes the drug more than it is required so we write it down as one week so that the, the chemist when uh, giving the drugs knows how many uh, medicines are to be given to the patient now knowing all these details now we'll talk about one example as to how do we prescribe a medicine so first we write down rx which is recipe the treatment we write it down as for example in this case it's amoxicillin so it's the capsules we write down cap capsule amoxicillin the name of the drug the strength in this case is 250 milligrams and then we write it down OD which means the patient has to take this drug once a day in this form it's 0 plus 1 plus 0 and then we write down the route of administration in this case is orally so we can write it down either as orally or PO and then we write write down AC or PC AC means before meal this drug has to be taken PC means after meal this drug has to be taken and then finally we write down for how many days the patient should take this drug and in this case it's one week if there is more than one drug that is to be given to the patient then we write it down in numbered form this is drug number one and this is drug number two and so on and so forth talking about the last part of the prescription part is the this part in this the doctor's name is printed over here and then the signature of the dentist or the doctor is uh, written over here and the date when this prescription is given to the patient one important thing in this case is that after writing this name detail and the medicine instruction the doctor has to draw this line in this empty space now this is important and I'll tell you why this is important this is, this is important so that the patient does not self prescribe because if for example patient has to take some drug and it feels like that the doctor might not prescribe him or her that drug so when you draw this line and uh, you write some and the patient writes down some drug over here and then when he visits the pharmacist pharmacists know that something is wrong because this line means that no other drug is being prescribed by the doctor so when the, pa the patient visits the pharmacist to get the drug which he or she wants the pharmacist has some doubt that there is something wrong so the pharmacist might contact the doctor and the doctor then says that this drug I have not prescribed to that patient so the pharmacist does not give that drug to the patient so this is important lastly talking about some prescribing errors that the clinical rotation students or the doctors make when they're prescribing drugs to their patients first is not taking adequate medical history of the patient now this is important because sometimes underlying medical conditions does not allow the doctor to prescribe the drug that the doctor wants to give because it can lead to adverse reactions to the patient because that drug is not cap compatible with the underlying condition of the patient second is prescribing wrong drug to the patient because if you prescribe wrong drug it won't benefit uh, benefit to the patient but it, it might lead to some 
adverse reaction in the patient. Third is drug reaction, drug interactions. By drug interactions, we mean that sometimes and most of the times, patient is on some drugs that he or she is taking to treat the underlying condition, medical condition. So when you do not cater to drug interactions, the patient that is already taking some drug and you give your drug, they might interact. That might lead to some adverse reaction, which is not good for the patient. So you have to keep that in mind. And finally, inappropriate dosage. By inappropriate dosage, we simply mean that, for example, a patient requires immediate care, immediate treatment. So you have to give a drug of 400 mg, but you prescribe 200 mg. So when you do that, the patient won't get treated rapidly as you want want it to be. So these are the four prescribing errors that you have to keep in mind when you are prescribing some drugs to the patient. So we talked about how to write prescription, the different parts of prescription and we also talked in detail about the different parts of prescription starting with the name and details of the patient then the main body, the different uh, drugs that the patient is prescribed followed by the strength, the route of administration and the third and last part that is details of the doctor and its signature. And then we also talked about some examples as to how do we write a prescription for a patient and then finally we talked about prescribing errors that doctors or students make when they are giving prescription to the patients. So I hope this video was useful for you and if you like this video please like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. See you next time. Thank you for watching.